Hello everybody, welcome to my, uh, I know I did, I did, uh, Ninja Gaiden already on the channel, but... <clears throat> I'm actually gonna attempt to record a, a Deathless session. Because I was able to beat this game Deathless, just like I did with Castlevania 3, as y if you guys saw. I also did beat this game so weaponless, but that w I, I did die, like, a couple times, but... Still... Anyway, um, I mean, the only real difference is in this video, I actually, I don't want to jinx it, but I have been, I've been practicing Jackie a lot, and I have been able to consistently beat him without going back to 6-1, so if you want to stick around and watch that. Yeah, like, 6 best one is pretty easy as always. I think it's impossible to die in 6, I've never seen anybody die in this stage. <laughs> Yeah, um, I guess I'll just try to be explaining some of my strategies that I do in this game. I mean... I'm not sure what I'm gonna do with my other video, because I did spend time, like, I mean, it wasn't that long, but, like, I did edit it and everything. I'm just like, you know what, this run was so much better. I did record... I wish I recorded my Deathless run, but I had no commentary. So... I mean, if you guys prefer a no commentary deathless run, let me know and I can get to work on that. For those of you who prefer no commentary, I, will, I don't mind doing that. Gives me another reason to play Ninja Gaiden 1. Which, playing this game more and more, it just grows on me, it really does. And uh, don't worry, Ninja Gaiden 2 and 3 will be on the channel soon. Ninja Gaiden 3 will take a while, because I still have not beaten it. Alright, this this is where it's dangerous. Actually, no, it's not this part. It's just because those Hammer Bro enemies are really annoying. Aw, oh, crap, I didn't mean to grab that. It's actually okay, because there's a Fire Wheel coming up, which I was going to lose anyway. You don't have to grab the Fire Wheel, but I just... I don't know, it makes this part really easy. I'm gonna go for the bad boost. Hey. This is the part that's really dangerous. Okay. Yeah, that part sucks. Wow, that guy actually despawned. Yeah, that part only sucks because of the hammer, bro, and you don't have spin slash. So you just gotta really... <laughs> That part is really dangerous. But I don't know, this stage is easy. Just those hammer bros can really screw you over if you're doing a death this run. Of course, spin. I don't know if I mentioned it, but spin slash is incredibly. It's pretty integral to doing a no death run because of how amazing it is. You don't need it for the bosses, because honestly, most of the bosses in this game you can beat without spin slash. I was able to, like, on my sub-weaponless run, I pretty much beat all the bosses without it pretty easily. It was more the level that gave me a challenge. Again, oh god. Again, you just want to be careful. Just those birds are the only thing. Again... Sorry, I'm just all over the place. I'm just trying to think of what to say. It's really difficult, and I've already done a playthrough of this game. <clears throat> um, like, the best advice I can give you in this game for its eternity is just keep running. Even if that means dying and learning the parts over and over again, because that's how this game is. Like, you always want to be moving forward. Always. Never stop. There are certain parts we have to stop. Like, I like to stop there because of the bullet. If you're skilled enough, you can do a bullet boost off of it, but I'm not risking that. <clears throat> Just because of the respawning enemies, and of course... You want to build momentum, because if you lose your momentum... The hardest part about recovering in this game is your momentum. Alright, here you do want to stop. Jump over the cat, jump, be careful. And yeah. I ran out of the thingy, okay. 
Okay, I can't do the button mashing trick on this guy. I don't know how to do that. Damn it. Okay, I'm being really dumb, but it's fine. I'm not gonna die. This guy's really easy. I don't. I was just trying to be cool, dude. The trick, this multiple attack stab right here. <sighs> Whatever. Quarters one can be a little tricky. Again, that hammer bro can really fuck you up. All right. I'm just gonna let the cat run past me. I'm surprised he even does. That. I didn't even know he does that. Oh god. Yeah, those cats are like. Okay, once you get to here, the level's fine. And don't worry about your health, because when you beat this level, your health recovers. Just be careful of that bird, obviously. And then here you're gonna jump. And best song in the game, as always. I will simp for this song for all eternity, I don't care. I stay here, because the bat- oh my god, yeah, that those guys- I have to watch that when I do edit. Okay. Normally I have to grab the timer down there, but when I get boosted up there, I'm just like, whatever. And spin slash actually really helps on the bridge, because these birds are obnoxious. Oh boy. If you don't have spin slash, it's in one of these candles. I think it's that, like, top left one. Or, like... Whatever, just hit those candles, you'll find it. So you don't need to keep Spin Slash, but I like to keep it just to make things faster. That's probably the hardest part about this stage, if you're playing it like this style, like, keep it, because there is no Spin Slash. But you don't need it, the boss is pretty easy without Spin Slash anyway. Also helps if you memorize or at least know what handles hold and po and which ones hold certain weapons. Oh god, that was a close. All right. There's a health refill to the right. That's fine. All right. All right, you want to really be careful here. Because that guy can just knock you to the pit. <clears throat> It's all about timing when you're jumping for that. Okay, we're pretty much set. Just kill him, and we're good. Alright. Not top stage. And we could just do this, because we have spin slash. Yep. Alright, stage 5 is where I'm a little... If I go for a no death run again, which I mean I'm doing right now, but like when I was going for it initially, like this five. I don't. I don't want to jinx it, but like five dash two is five dash two gave me problems at first because I was changing strategies, which I will talk about. And um, fuck, I'm trying to think. Five dash three really sucked. Just because I was running out of health. Because 5 dash 2 is really all about health management. Okay, you wanna be careful with this guy. He can really ruin your day. Wait here, jump. There's a health up there if you wanna get it. I don't need it. Wow, I just did 5 dash 1 perfect, no damage. Yeah, this stage was where I really started to run into trouble. So, I would probably keep spin slash. I'll talk about my change in strategy and why I was like struggling to adapt. <clears throat> oh, okay, why did he respawn? Shit, now I have to like... Ah, oh, fuck! Alright, here, there's a fire wheel up there. I would normally use the fire wheel for this segment, but 
I want to keep spin slash for a certain part. In, uh, what do you call it? I want to keep the spin slash for five dash three one part. Health right there. Can you actually walk over this? Right. Oh god, I don't like this part. I'm at full health actually. No, I'll go for it. Okay. Those birds are really bad. Alright, this part... That was really close, but... You need to get as close as you can, because that bird will infinitely respawn, and you're pretty much gonna get hit. That bird will pretty much hit you if you're climbing up there. It's really impossible. Like, I've only done it a few times where I've avoided getting hit. Alright, well, 40 in impo. This is the part I always want... This is why I normally want to keep Spin Slash now. Instead of adopting the fire wheel strategy. Oh my god. Let MG spawn. That is why that part, those jetpack ninjas are absolutely awful. Wait for the bat, make sure you jump or hit the cat if you're fast enough. Right here is where I lose the spin slash, actually. Because so I want to get the fire wheel. Because this part without a fire wheel can be a little tricky. Oh! <laughs> okay, wow, I got through that. With, I, I got through that even though I fucked up. Wow. Oh shit, the bird, okay. Yeah, okay, wow. Alright, I'm really fortunate I did not fuck up there. Yeah, you really don't need Spin Slash for Moth. And you get your health refilled anyway before this boss fight, so it doesn't matter. Yeah, so, like, I, I could keep Spin Slash and to kill him to make things faster, but I just... That part without the Fire Wheel was really difficult for me. I'm just like, I only need it for the Jetpack Ninjas. Well, we're on the final act of the game. This is where things get tense, because obviously I'm... Don't want to say it out loud. Ah, oh, Fuck me, that's not good. So... Whatever, whatever your health ends up being is pretty much the precedent. For, uh... Okay, that's fine. I only got hit once. You basically need a lot of health for this app because the health refills all the way to the end. Okay, that's not what I wanted to do. Yeah, because the health refills all at the end of this section. Like, act, I mean. Yeah, I, I kind of panicked there because I saw the jetpack ninja. I'm like, nope. No, no, no. Oh man, I did not want to lose that. Okay, that's not good. Yeah. Those jet that part without spin slash is awful. Bay him. Yeah, you know what? I I should not have stayed up there because if I mistimed that, that bird would have knocked me to my death. away from the thing. I... Okay, this is not great. Not great at all. <sighs> I thought I fucked up that... I thought I messed up my timing on that. Holy shit. If you jump too early, that green guy usually will knock into the pit. Okay, he despawned. We want to get health upgrade just to be safe. Okay, we're through 6-2. That's that's the biggest barrier. 6-2 is the biggest barrier. I would say then 5-3. Possibly 5-2 as well. Alright. Not great, not great start. 
So that's the last spin slash of the game. You don't need it for the first boss because I'm sure as if you know if you played this game, if you lose your first sub weapon after beating the first boss. But I just want to kill the first boss for like quick. Okay, that part's really dangerous because if you, if you don't. Okay, this guy sucks. I hate this. I hate this guy. You know what? Because I've been slashed, I'm gonna go for it. Okay. I don't know what. I keep forgetting I have spin slash. Like, I don't need to do that. I don't need to go from the left side at all. I don't know. Can't get the fuck out. Alright, we're on the last screen. Come on. Grab this. Doesn't matter because we're gonna get a health refill anyway, but. You just want to be safe, because especially when there's going to be a fuck ton of birds coming up. And I also do not want to lose this spin slash. Alright, that, that is fine. So we're on the first boss, and because we have spin slash... Oh god. I almost fucked that up. Alright, th this is where things are a little scary, because even though I've practiced Chucky, I have not... I've done, I've done it without commentating, obviously. I might be a little quiet. Ah, fuck. You just kind of want to wait for your openings. That's basically when he's about to sh That's after he shoots his fireballs and before he's about to shoot them. Not like right before, because... do have a chance of getting hit. And also, do not get hit by him. Like, his actual body, do not get hit by him. He does, like, insane... He does, like, about the same damage as the birds, I think. Okay, that was not good. Go in again. Just take your time on him. Trust me, as you play this more and more, you will learn when to go in and when not to go in. That was a little risky. Alright, we're past Jockio. I just... The, de the demon statue? Do not underestimate. Because the, the hardest part about the demon is how much those shrimps do. The de okay, I'd rather get hit by the demon head than the shrimp. And there we go, I beat, I beat Ninja Guy and Deathless on camera. Whew! That, that technique you saw me doing at the end was the, uh, what was it, like... I mean, if you watch Ninja Guy and Speedrunners such as Arcus, like, if you mash down the down and B button, or in my case I'm playing on emulator, so like, it's down the attack button, like, at the same time you mash it, you'll get more hits than in the air. I like doing it on the demon just because I can kill him faster. Cause let's see, I think Ryu has 16 hit points. No, he's like. I think Ryu can only take like four or five hits on the demon. I guess I'll just let this play out and give my uh, thoughts and things at the end. Wow, they ripped us from Castlevania. And I apologize if you guys want to watch the credits on you, uh, the uh, cutscenes on YouTube. You're welcome to. I just wanted to make this go by quicker. You, you are Giga Chad for not for being this game without dying.
Faster! Oh Ah, uh, they have to play my favorite. Yeah, well, that was actually- I, I'm surprised that this only took two recording attempts. I, uh, I did fail earlier on how to start over, I will admit. If I'm being honest, but... Yeah, I'm surprised I got it done on my second try. And what's funny is I actually died in the second stage of those hammer bros. I mean, I'm surprised though. Uh, I mean, I'm just glad. I'm- Jockeo, like, it's amazing. Like, Jockey was the barrier preventing me from beating this game. That's because every time I beat this game, I, he always sent me back to 6-1. And there were times where I beat this game when I only died once to him, and I was like, oh my god, it had to be Jockey. But, you know what, I eventually buckled down, practiced Jockey. And, yeah. There he is, fucking asshole. You thought you can get me, you thought you can stop my no death run. I think sometime in the future, when I'm done with school and have free time, I definitely want to do a live stream of these games. But that's for the near future. I'll get into streaming in the future, maybe over the summer, I don't know. Whenever this comes out, because it's just been a hectic schedule for me. I just record when I get the chance and I get and enjoy games leisurely when I can. But, yeah. That's the end. Thank you guys. If you guys watched to the end, I appreciate it, especially with my nonsensical rambling. <laughs> but it's, yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed, and I will hopefully see you for whatever comes out next. Hopefully Ninja Gaiden 2, because I've been practicing that, because I've beaten it. It's just Act 7. That's really brutal. And of course, Ninja Gaiden 3, like I said, just haven't gotten around to practicing it. Alright, I'm going to stop, guys. Thank you for watching, as always. I hope to see you in the next playthrough. Bye.